Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video today, we're going to learn about setting up a project in Swift UI and also we're going to learn about the app lifecycle as well. So let's jump straight in and let's get started. So basically with um, Swift UI um, and obviously the building an iOS app uh, project, you actually have to have Xcode. So if you don't have Xcode installed already, what you're going to need to do is go into the app store um, simply just go into the search bar here and then just search for Xcode and then you should see Xcode and then you can download it. I've already got it pre-installed so there's no need for me to download this again. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just, I'm actually just going to just open this up now. So let's open up Xcode. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically select the option here to create a new project. So we've got to create our brand new project here. The next thing we need to do is select the app option. So let's select that and hit next. Now you'll basically have a couple of options here. So you'll have the product name, which is the name of the um, product that you're building, the app, the team. Um, so in later videos, we're going to discuss provisioning profiles and also distribute an app onto the app store. So for now it's fine to leave this as none. And when the time comes, I'll actually link that video in this video as well. Organization identifier is just your organization. Bundle identifier is your unique identifier for the app when you want to upload it to the app store. So you can't have a bundle identifier um, more than once because it has to be a unique identifier. For interface, we're going to select Swift UI because we're building an app in Swift UI and not storyboards. Lifecycle as well, we want to choose a Swift UI app and not UI app, UI kit app delegate. And also in language, we're going to choose Swift as well. And just make sure these two are unselected. So for the product name, you can put whatever you want for me. And um, because I've already built this and I'm rebuilding it again, I'm just going to put football chance, Swift UI uh, 2. And as you can see, the bundle identifier is very similar to like a domain where it's like a website. So you want it to be com dot your organization dot the product that you're building. So once we've got all this filled in, we're just going to hit next and then choose a place to put this. I'm just going to put mine on the um, desktop and hit create. And you can see here, it's been created on my desktop. And now we have our first uh, Swift UI app up and running. So the first thing <clears throat> that we're going to, need to do is just by make a few tweaks to the um, project configuration. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to deselect iPad because we're just going to build this for um, iPhones. In the future, we will learn about building um, universal apps and how we can like leverage this in UI Kit and Swift UI. Um, for the deployment, we're just going to leave that as iOS 14 for now. And for the device orientation, uh, we're just going to switch it so it's only on portrait, uh, landscape left and landscape right off as well. So just portrait. Although it is worth noting that um, to support landscape with this app, um, I don't think you actually need to do anything. It's just that I just want to run this in portrait. So that's the project setup. So what we're just going to do now is we're actually just going to run this to see uh, what it looks like. So if you just go to the top here and then you just make sure you select the devices list here. And then if you just select um iphone 11 or whatever device you want to select i'm going to choose iphone um 11 i don't know why i always select it but hey i'm just going to choose that one and then we're just going to wait for this to build cool so you can see on the right hand side there we go we've got our first app up and running so that's pretty that's pretty nice but with Swift UI, it's a bit different to UI Kit. So with Swift UI, I actually didn't need to run the project. I could actually, I could actually preview this directly in Xcode. So let's just stop this and let's go to the content view. And if you just expand this, so I'll just hit this to go full screen, you'll actually see a pane in here where you can actually um, hit resume if you don't already have it and you just see the app then even better. And what this does, is it lets you actually preview your content view or you know your apps view in the um, Xcode preview window. So you can see here that we can now see our app directly 
in here. So if I make a change here, like if I change this to two to three Ds, you'll see that it updates. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video about Xcode preview previews because I've actually got another video um, where we'll go into more detail about everything you can do here. So what we will do before we just wrap up on this video is we'll just basically go to the main app. So here and starting off with iOS 14 um, in the last WWDC that Apple did, they introduced this new uh, property wrapper called App Main. So basically with the App Main, it's basically the entry point of your application. So what do I mean when I say entry point? When I'm saying entry point, I basically mean that this is where your application will start. So if you want to use a different view controller, or want to use a different view to basically show when you launch your application, you would basically specify it here. And as you can see, we also have another property here called window group. And what that allows us to do is it basically allows us to um, specify the main window of the um, application that we want to show. So this is really useful when you're working with an app, which is between iPhones and iPads and even Mac as well, because you can basically specify the main window that you want to basically show to a user when they launch their app. Okay, cool. So we've actually covered the base setup of the application today. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to end it there. And in the next video, we're going to start adding some assets to our application. So the foot to football champs and the football images and all that other business. And we'll actually carry on from there. So same again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.